Welcome to the Free Truth Show. Attempting to break through all the lies and deception of the mass media, which is owned and controlled by the very elite that have engineered this global financial takedown. The Free Truth Show is dedicated to exposing the New World Order eugenicist depopulation agenda. Never before in the history of the world have the people been so awake. It's time for you to stand up too. Welcome to the Free Truth Show. Welcome everybody to the Free Truth Show on These Changing Times Radio. We are live with Payday Monsanto, a music artist uh, from Philadelphia originally, I believe. And um, I'm a big fan, so this is uh, very exciting for me. And um, I'm in England chatting to Payday Monsanto in the US. And we're going to be talking about his music and his, his early life and his influences and the future of hip-hop under freedom of speech being squashed. Um, uh, we'll talk about some of the books he reads and his influences mainly. And um, well, well, it's just I'm just blown away. It's, welcome to the show, Payday Monsanto. Hey, how you doing? Pleasure That's to it. be here, Patrick. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Yep, doing good. We had a, a nice hot, sunny day today, which is quite unusual. Um, they were heavily heavily spraying the chemtrails. I'll just talk about the rally that I'm organising quickly and. Um, Alan Watts mentioned it on air, my chemtrail rally that I'm organising on the 9th of July, 2011, uh, near Duxford, Cambridgeshire. That's in um, about 40 miles north of London. And it's a big air show event, and the RAF will be there, and hopefully we can um, raise some awareness to this serious spraying crime that nobody is aware of. I spoke to somebody... Yeah. I spoke to somebody from a, a cabin crew today. She happened to be running past a jogger, and I wanted to interview her and say, uh, are you aware that these chemtrails are going on? She had no idea. She was cabin crew on a major worldwide airline and had no idea what I was talking about. Do you know what I mean? People don't look up. It's quite the adverse here. Today wouldn't be a good day to uh, try to convince people uh, about the chemtrails because, uh, you know, when I walked out this morning, I saw the Sky unusually free yeah. of any chemtrails. Yeah, this, there's days like this. I guess that they're just neglecting us today in, in the city of brotherly love. But yeah, it's really windy. It's sunny. It's windy, and but the sky is uh, it's that light blue. Yeah, I remember. I remember the dark blue skies. Uh, you don't see them anymore. Uh, yeah, you're, it's. You're, it's... You're, you're, the volcano, uh, the Icelandic uh, <laughs> volcano. If you remember, they stopped flight. People were yeah, curious. Yeah. People were curious as to why they were amazed at the sky being so deep azure blue. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was stuck in Spain at an airport. I didn't know anything about it. I was sort of tootling around the town. Um, I'd been working in Spain for a couple of weeks, and um, I got stuck in Bilbao. I went to the airport and everything was cancelled, and the, all the trains in France were um, on strike as well. You know, this is very timely. So I was, it took me three days to get home. Well, I hope you enjoyed yourself uh, while you were stuck in, in the best <sighs> way possible. <laughs> I, I had an am- I had an amazing time. Um, Bilbao is awesome, and Spain is awesome, and France is awesome. I love going around Europe. Um, We've got some tunes, hopefully they'll upload in time, uh, there's some new tunes and an audio that we're going to play later uh, from Payday Monsanto. Um, you're from Philadelphia originally, Payday, what do I call you, Payday? Yes, you can call me uh, Payday or William, I, you know, he, Payday's a little grandiose, uh, <laughs> and it's we'll a cancer with, bar. Oh, so we'll stick with William. For, yeah, for the William or, Mon- or, or, or Monsanto, the murderer. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, 
Are you available for children's parties? <laughs> All day long, just like the Masons. I'm chip. I got more chips than Pringles for them. <laughs> Philadelphia. That's where you originally hail from. Yes, sir. Uh, tell me about that kind of place. What's that? What's that like for a, for somebody to grow up in? There's a oh, big hip hop the culture there. It's the birthplace of freedom, man. You didn't know. This is where Liberty sure. was born. <laughs> sure. That's sure. what I grew up thinking, you know. Yeah, the Liberty Bell and stuff like that, the the Constitution and uh, Declaration of Independence. and Right. You know, it's a, it's a crock of uh, uh, horse manure is what it is. What, the Declaration of Independence? <laughs> the, 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 the whole freedom thing, you know. Really? The, you, you know, it's it's... It was intended from from its inception as just a gradual, mm -hmm. a gradual decline into serfdom, you know. Right. Well, I'm these led people to believe, think well, these people think on on very you know centurion models. Yeah. So I you know what 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 we're seeing now I think was well not I don't think we we can document this and and see that they. You know, like, for instance, the people, we, they got hooked on drugs, you know, back in the 60s, they met in Puerto Rico yep. and said they want to, you know, the, a bunch of psychiatrists said they want to get, you know, as many people as they can by the year 2000. They want to have a drug-induced, uh, pop comatose population, and that's what we the, have. They bring the drugs in, right? And we look at Huxley in, in the 50s and the 60s, and what his brother Julian you know, said and what the, the, that ilk said 50, mm -hmm. 60 years ago, and it, the, the ver, the, that very thing is happening today. So you see that they think in 25, 50, 100 year models. Yes, eventually uh, uh, the, the peasants will um, learn to love their, their slavery. Slavery. Their servitude, their yeah. servitude yes. Oh, yes, he was um British Eugenic Society, uh, bred for the purpose, Lord this, Lord that. Mm -hmm. All a bunch of scumbags dressed up in, in lovely robes, giving the appearance of, of dignity and respectability. But, but in fact, uh, the majority of them are kind of assholes. sodomizing Satanists, aren't they, really? I'm, I'm, I'm getting stressed out. Do you mind if I s smoke? I want to light a fag. No, I'm, I'm, I like... Cigarettes all the time here. People, people hear my lights are going on all the time. Um, yeah, so we're talking about um, early history, um, but Philadelphia, you say, um, was there much of a hip hop culture there? In fact, yes. You know, we were we were always in New York City's shadow uh, for the most part. You know, mm -hmm. we're we're, we're uh, you know ninety miles from an hour and a half from New York City, the birthplace. Of hip hop, uh, but you know we we th there's things that Philadelphia has that are you know independent of New York and that uh, besides the cheese steak, but uh, basically hip hop, uh, you know is things that things that uh, you know we're right downstream, so we basically got uh, a lot of the styles, a lot of the new uh, inventions, a lot of the new. Uh, fashions or whatever, and they, you know, we were hit with them, you know, almost immediately. You yeah. Know, you know, you know, if it came from the Bronx, sometimes it might have got to Philly before it got to Long Island. You know. Well, we know that nothing is allowed to sort of flourish and come to fruition, come to fruition uh, from the grassroots. Everything yeah, is authorized. Out of my mouth. You just took the word out of my mouth. The grassroots. It was grassroots, and then it got co-opted. It was grassroots. It seemed like it. I mean, it, people were wiring up um, turntables to lampposts. It, there was a kind of uh, freedom of expression. It seemed uh, spontaneous. Yeah. Well, and if it, you know, even if it wasn't, uh, you know, it, it had that, it had that aura, and I believe it was it, uh, organic. Me but too. it was quickly yep. it was quickly uh, co-opted and you know the, there's the greed factor uh, mm -hmm. but but you know there's stuff bigger than that 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 uh, it, you know allows the the co-opting to take place you know I I can't articulate it right now but it, it's just something they they never want any freedom of expression to grow so big and and just be free it it 
you know, it, it always has to be. And now what we see today is, uh, oh boy, you know, it's not uh, hip hop's not on the radio. What, what you what you have is mind controlled, literally. You know, these people, a lot of these people are into the occult. Their videos actually show Baal, Peor worship, and mm-hmm. things like that. Yes. And they don't. These little girls are licking their lollipop, they're doing dances, and they don't. You know, they don't even know what they're doing. They're, they're, exactly, they're, they're yeah. performing bow worship. Yeah. Well, it's a, I think Freeman calls it the Satanization of America. For those that who, for those who may not know, um, incredibly may not know your music, we're going to play a, a clip that you sent us today of some new material, I believe, the Al Qaeda clip. Yeah, that's relatively new. It's uh, about seventy-five percent done. It's going to be on the next album. That's going to drop nine. Uh, 10 11 September 10th 2011. so we've got a bit of a so we've got a bit of an exclusive here we're going to play um al qaeda clip That's yeah the, the, the new al qaeda and it's just a clip yeah the new al qaeda this is payday monsanto Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you today the successor of the recently deceased Osama bin Laden, Anwar Alawaki. Thank you, thank you. I'm your new Al Qaeda chief. Let's have a blast. Mossad told me that my legacy will last. Osama did a good job in the past, but he could not have dinner with the Pentagon brass. There's a new Al Qaeda on the rise. Could be from Kansas. It would be no surprise. Americans better keep open their eyes and expect retina scans with their burger and fries. We recruit with the super major lobby. Homegrown terror, it could be your neighbor Bobby. My handlers are here, somebody's coming in. Oh look, it's Adam Gadon from Oregon, my friend. Hey yo, I was raised in Orange County, but that's beside the point. These people do not need to know a solitary thing about me, Al Waki. Just what are you declaring? You're not replacing Osama, I'm the heir apparent. Okay, Perlman, just who do you think you now are? that's a dumb question, Al Waki. You've seen my chart. Well, you're mistaken if you think that I will call you Lord because your granddaddy sat on a Benet hey, board. Hey, hey. Laden's gone, but his ghost survives. Al Qaeda's just been energized. Americans are mad as hell. So come and join my terror cell. The new Al Qaeda's not like me, contraire. The new Al Qaeda has blue eyes, blonde hair. The new Al Qaeda drive big green John Deere. Celebrates the ball when it falls in Times Square. Osama bin Laden is dead. Happy days. Happy days, everybody. This is the greatest night of my career. The bum is dead. Not so fast, Mr. Reporter with handlebar mustache. To read a script in front of you, they pay you lots of cash. I do not purport to get a great fee, but the same people who pay you pay me. The MI6 is the the CIA is the, the Pentagon. Mossad, all in together now. Bin Laden's gone, but his ghost survives. His family frolic, his children thrive. He's long been gone since 2002, but it's breaking story news to you. As Payday Monsanto and the new Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda, as we know, we have Payday Monsanto live with us on the Free Truth Show on That's These it. Changing Times Radio. Welcome back, sir. That's it, the new the new Al Qaeda. <laughs> yeah, uh, will you be dining at the Pentagon pretty soon, yourself? I'm, I'm sorry, the Pentagon? Yeah, will you be dining at the Pentagon? <laughs> Yeah, it's my understanding that guy uh, Al Waki was, was dining with Pentagon Brass. I mean, it's 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 a continuing <laughs> trend. You know, the guy, uh, the the uh, what's his name? I forget now. Mahmoud Mohammed was uh, the guy who the hundred thousand dollar wire transfer dining with Porter Goss and uh, had lunch with Porter Goss and uh, Senator Graham and stuff. Right. Before. 